Today, this morning, literally, I had the fortune of going on to the U.S. Uh, Ukraine trade statistics, which now has, as of a few days ago, already loaded up the entirety of uh, the 2010 year uh, on it. And sure enough, one would have suspected this thing. Uh, but uh, the, the, the figures that show up for Ukraine, I'm talking about Ukrainian exports. I'm more interested in that, Ukrainian exports to the United States crossed over uh, $1 billion, uh, which is great. It was only less than half a billion dollars last year, 2009, the previous year. But it was half of what it was two years before that. So on the one hand, it's great news. On the other hand, it's, hey, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But what struck me is, and I was in this business, so to speak, at the Ukrainian Embassy and certainly in the Commerce Department for a long period of time, what struck me was the structure of what comes out of Ukraine as exports to the United States. It's also true for exports to a lot of other countries. Uh, when I was there, started my term there 15 years ago, we had about 80 to 85 percent of all Ukrainian exports to the United States and other countries consisted of primary metals and chemicals. And by chemicals, we mean these large conglomerates in Ukraine that pr produce urea, which is fertilizer for farms. So just about everything, you know, 85% was in those two categories, never mind the produced products of other things, never mind food, yeah. but it was those. I looked at the figure this morning, and I saw that 75% still falls into those categories. This is 15 years later. We have been preaching, a lot of us have been preaching, to find ways of diversifying. One way to diversify is to pay a lot more attention to the growing small businesses in Ukraine. And you saw a lot of headlines on the protests that took place this, this year on the Maidan by, by the small business communities. So a lot has to be worked to make that happen again. Another little vignette on statistics, and I'll leave it at that, Food, best food in the world, best topsoil in the world is literally in Ukraine right now. Ukraine exported to the United States, oh, U.S. exported to Ukraine this past year $107 million worth of food products. Guess how much Ukraine exported to the United States? $8 million only. Okay, there's a big disparity, not that, and of course the United States is a much, much bigger market for that sort of stuff. A lot has to be done there. We heard that the primary topic at this session, this past week, the binational session, the primary economic topic was, was energy issues. Let's hope that the year after and, and many years to come, there's a diversification and a lot more emphasis is placed of those industries that literally Ukraine can make a lot of people working. In other words, create much more jobs in Ukraine. If there is a certain policy of diversification of their exports and thereby their production at this point. So it's the only point I want to make. Just one more comment about moving Ukraine forward, uh, moving it out into the world economy, and promoting Ukraine as a place to do business. I did want to, I did want to introduce a lot of Pasachak and Marina Taluk from the staff of the U.S.-Ukraine Business Council. Uh, I'd like to just to say that we've opened up the Business Council membership uh, to all organizations, profit or not-for-profit, who are interested in moving Ukraine forward, interested in being a part of a coalition to build Ukraine, and I'm very happy to say that uh, when I took over the Ukraine Business Council, uh, we had 22 members. Before the Orange Revolution, we only had eight. So we've tried to here in Washington build a very strong, effective organization for Ukraine to build it economically and business-wise, but also put all the rest of the pieces together. We're very happy to say we have over 150 members now, one of the largest business councils here in Washington, and we are by far the largest business council in the world for Ukraine that's not headquartered in Kiev. I'm very pleased to say that the U.S.-Ukraine Foundation, the Ukrainian Federation of America, the Ukrainian American Coordinating Council, the Ukrainian American Bar Association, the Washington Group, 
the Mohill Academy Foundation in Chicago, the Ukrainian Catholic Education Foundation in Chicago that works with uh, Lviv Business School, the Kiev School of Economics, and others. We have now 25 not-for-profits that are members of our council. So our council is uh, wanting to be a gathering place for everybody interested in building Ukraine as we all work together to uh, put the pieces together that are necessary for a strong Ukraine. So we're very, very proud to be a part of that, proud of what the business community and all of you have done together to build a strong uh, organization here in Washington. And we have a full-time office also now in Kiev. So Andy, we work closely with you and all the others. and. There's a lot of work to be done to get Ukraine open for business and integrated into the world economy, which is good for all of us. Thank you.